Hi and welcome to part 4 of this example. Now we are going to make a rock. What I've done here, I've created a few different vectors. These are just all straight vectors, no particular sizes or anything. This is just to create a pixelated shape so we can then add texture to it and it will then look like a rock. So I'll go into my 3D view zoom in a little bit and show my vectors. I'm going to do this using the shape editor so I'll select the outside shape, double click on it I want to do a beveled edge angle 30 degrees and add that. Now I'll select my third vector this one is going to be used to cut the rock out. Angle of 25 degrees, beveled edge and add that again. No merge highs on this particular example. This is just all adding. So I'll select my fourth vector. This time minus 30 degrees beveled edge. So it cuts out the rock and add that again. And then my final vector 20 degrees beveled edge and add that. Then we have quite a weird looking pixelated shape. What I want to do now is select the second vector and do a zero rest on this so it cuts everything that's outside the vector. So I'll zero rest that and then close my shape editor and it's given the basis of a rock although it looks not too much like one at the moment. So if I go into my plan view, the view along Z, I'll zoom in on the rock and what I'm going to do now is a fade relief again but this time I'm going to do a radial one so it sweeps all around from a particular point so I'll grab my crosshair and I'll put it just somewhere there so select my vector and then click create now that's faded the rock it's starting to look a little bit more like a rock now but the main thing that adds to it is the texture. So I'm going to hide these vectors. I'll turn them off on here. And then I'll open up my reliefs. I'll rename this to Rock. And I'll create a new relief layer and rename that Texture. I'll go on to Texture Relief and I'll select whole layer and I want to do this from file because I already have a picture with a rock texture on it so I'll click file I'll come down and there we have our rock texture I'll open that and you can see it's giving us a preview here I need to change the height of that because it's quite deep so I'll change the height of that to 0 0.5 say and I'll add that and close it. Now this has been added to this texture layer here so if I turn that off it will turn off the texture and it is on. So I'll turn off my texture layer go back onto the rock layer what I need to do is go back onto the 2D view and I'll select this vector and I'll select blue as my primary colour, just left click on it and it will select it as the primary colour and then I'll flood fill that so it turns it all blue. I'll go back onto my 3D view and I'll select my deposit tool. I'll set that to say about 250, strength for leave that is 10 and the mask settings I need to select texture as my mask sculpt only under colour so it will only sculpt on the blue and then select add and then just start coming over the rock and it will start to bring through the texture on the rock now this is a bit more sort of artistic than just grabbing it and putting it on top of the rock because you can actually select where you want it to be higher and lower. So that's starting to look like a rock now. So we're just bringing through the just bringing through the texture. So 
so they now have quite a bit of texture and that's that looks like a rock so I'll close my deposit tool and now I want to export my rock into my clip art library again so open up clip art library there are all my files that I've created and I'll drag the rock into my clip art library so there's my rock with the preview I'll close this down so in the next part of the example I will be showing you how to assemble all the different parts from the relief library and also use some pre-existing reliefs that are in there